Well, folks, look what is back on the channel. Finally back from inline performance up in Bushnell. They got this thing in tip top shape. We are going to be doing a few things to it and it's going up for sale. As much as I'd love to keep it, it's not something we really need. It doesn't really jive a lot with all of our big truck stuff we're doing. So for sale, but not on sale. I'll show you guys all the stuff we had done to the old toenail back here. And we're gonna be moving some stuff to the house uh, today and over this next week. So we're gonna be using it quite a bit. So got the old second gen train down. I really told you guys about this truck. I went up to Georgia and bought it. It's a, uh, we'll go through when we get to the house and unload it, but we're all chained down. We're gonna head to the house. We're gonna get the Hellcat, which the Spencer's now loaded on here, taken to his house. And we got a patina kit to go on this thing. And hey, we gotta go to Royal King first. All right, so we made it to the house. We're gonna get the old two gen unloaded. This is the new daily, guys. This thing is sweet. It's a 1996 automatic truck with 250,000 miles on it. Grandpa owned, I bought it from the second owner. He had it for 15 years. And he bought it from the original owner that had it for, uh, I don't know, 10 years, something like that, whatever year it is now. So it's been a hot minute. If you guys don't know the Tony or new the channel, this is our 1992 Dodge D350 two-wheel drive, five-speed. We'll go through and do a full, we got neighbors now, do a full detail and show you guys what this thing's all about. We don't get too technical about strapping stuff down, coming from the house to here. I uh, had a Royal King battery I warrantied out, so we got some acid on the, <laughs> on the uh, bumper of this thing. We gotta get it clean. Uh, cool thing about Royal King, if you go buy batteries from them, and you can warranty them out pretty much forever, no matter what kind of shape it's in, but you get a battery that's a year old on the shelf. What are you doing? This thing's got the Harbor Freight uh, Badland winches, wireless winch on it. Loosen that boy up. Oh, dang, we done bent the heck out of that. Shoot. Hook off of there. Wrench it back in. This thing's got all kinds of side storage on it. Get it open. So if anybody's interested in buying it, no rust. This thing is not rotted out either. It's all in great shape. Yow. Got him a little pulling tractor. Uh, gonna get the two gen unloaded and show you guys interior. We got a couple plans for this. Got some updates on the Ranger. You guys haven't seen that yet either. Look at the interior. This one needs to be cleaned. It needs to be cleaned good, but floorboards are in great shape. No rot, a little bit of, a little bit of rust there, but that's normal. Sweet bench seat though, eh? Got a Wilson 5000. Got gunner runner loaded up in there, but this thing got some issues. The door worn out, door lock busted. Pretty common second gen problems there. video we're gonna try to get some poppy's patina put on this thing it may not be all of it but this is a kit to patina this truck right that looks sweet what that does it makes all this old rusty paint look nice and shiny and still look cool they sent us their whole freaking works dude look at this i don't know all kinds of rags some scuff paperwork oh mm, love the smell of paint chemicals instructions so we're gonna patina this thing not in this video but soon so get ready for that uh let's show you interior so for those of you that are new like i said 92 five speed nv 4500 conversion ice cold ac cruise works bench seat freaking unit me and old halfway years ago put the old flat nasty this thing's even got seats in the corners see it over there um took the old flat nasty all the way to north carolina with this truck Dang. Well, folks, ooh, ooh. we are out of here. Save the truck stop. Got a cooler full of beer and headed to the drag strip. We're not drag racing. We're going to be hanging out, meeting some fans, and having a good old time. The good thing I, good thing I brought you a daggum jacket. He's like, oh, it's cold. It's cold. Got my jacket at home. Hi, right, Ray Charles. That's right. So we're on our way. Get it. CB radio, everything works on it. Gauge for your boost, EGT, and coolant temp. Just, just an absolute cherry. She shows 515 on the dash, but I did main bearings and thrust bearings in this thing about 50,000 miles ago, so still in good shape. 
you see this right here is gonna look sweet with that patina. I wanna, I wanna scuff it just one second, just a little bit. See what it does. Yeah, you take this. Oh, dude, that's cool. It's gonna look slick. We're not gonna do it right now. You better get off that truck, boy. You better get down. All right, let's go back to the end here before we go to the back of the truck. It's got Toyos all the way around, 19.5s. Good old trusty 12 valve. Um, when I took it to uh, Reli uh, Reliance, when I took it to Inline Performance, they, when I took it to Inline Performance, they had the computer rebuilt, which is a notorious problem because the AC wasn't working and it wasn't charging either. So now it's all hooked back into the factory wiring like it was supposed to be. On our last video, when we first bought this thing back, it had all kinds of issues and they went through and fixed it all. I think we got a new water pump in there, all kinds of new goodies. So this thing is just some tip top shape, park and brake. They don't need a thing. It's perfect. It's ready to drive from here to California, loaded. Look what we found, boys. Oldies, only the OGs remember that. <laughs> more there's all kinds of stuff in here i can't get to it there it is dude reminiscing about the old days i bet this don't feel work oh hmm. i bet we could get it no little hotel key can't fix shoot we should put this on the uh on the windshield of the ranger in there that's all the goodies what do you got in your mouth spit that out yuck that is nasty that is nasty, sir. Yuck. 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 Back here on the back of the truck, got some portable ramps that slide right out of the back, and you can still hook a trailer back to it. Sweet tag, right? And uh, tow something down the road. This, this hitch like slides out of here. It's kind of a pain, but it comes out. So you can extend it out and hook a trailer. So if you got something that's overhanging, doesn't really cause any issues. Big old Larry Meat Hoover's on the back. You can, uh, got air helper bags up in there somewhere. You just can't see them, but. This thing's mounted pretty solid. No rust, like I was saying. Got the man at the plant, Spencer, detailing it. Sweet unit, guys. I got a new windshield coming this week. Gonna get that replaced. A little crack there, never hurt nobody. Now over here for my sweet second gen, right? Sweet bird, right, on this side. Nothing wrong with it right here. You go over the other side. The fella that owned it said he was driving one day in a clay road, came around a corner and <laughs> hit the ditch. You just like playing the road, don't you? Yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna have to get the cab right here pulled out, get that fixed if, if I wanna fix it. I think I just might fix the window tent, get rid of this stuff and make her just a nice, sweet, just bone stock 12 valve daily, said no one ever. Got a gooseneck in the back. Sweet, sweet toolbox. This is classic, guys. These things are classic when they got the toolbox, matching tailgate, and bed top covers. All original. Yeah, there we go. All the carpet covered toolbox on the inside. Best part, dash is cracked, but it's there. And it obliterated, so we can put a carpet up there, call it a day. The AC works, seats are in decent shape. She just needs a good shampooing. Seat over there is in good shape. I mean, it's just a nice clean truck. I do have the steering wheel pieces that go around the steering wheel. He gave them to me, but the steering wheel is definitely blown out. That thing's in bad shape. Like I got saying over here, the driver's side's in sweet shape. Gotta put some tires on it eventually. The door is worn out. You pick this thing up and down. I had to put new uh, door hinges in it eventually, but uh, not a bad little rig here, guys. 96. There's the covers for the steering wheel. I put those back on it. AC works. It's virgin. We'll open the hood. Got the OG Tech and Nasha Voyager brake controller. Son, get out of the road now. You better go. You better go right now. Fake cry. Look at him. He's fine. Turd. Anyways, P pump 12 valve, 180 horse spurs. Junction pumps virgin. That uh, tamper proof screw right back in there has never been touched. So it's all original. Battery cables are still in decent shape. Anybody that knows what I'm talking about knows that this is all big stuff compared to everybody that can mess with it. I mean, just look. Very rare do you come across one of these things that hasn't been molested yet. 
And it came with factory cab lights. Look at that. All right, we got some exhaust put on the Hellcat there tonight, which bled the brakes. Spencer was going to take it to his house. I ended up just like letting him. He's buying it all, so he's taking it home. All right, go ahead. Hit, 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 the, hit the key. Dang. That sounds good. While Ryan and Spencer are out trying to get arrested in the Hellcat, uh, I traded my Harley in and got this Can-Am Renegade 1000. So Amber will have something to drive and I can drive it whenever we're out at Redneck Yacht Club with our mud tractor, the side-by-side. -side. Everything's kind of tucked in here. But you guys don't know, as I bought this Ford Ranger, I'll throw a picture up here on the screen of what it looked like when I got it. I'll also throw a picture on the screen of what a Ford Ranger looked like I had in high school. My buddy Rob now has, which is crazy. And I just decked this one out with the same lift kit, similar tires and wheels. Can you stop moving? Anyways, got a four inch rough country lift, 33s, new hubs, completely rebuild the AC system in here. Comment down below, guys. Do you want to see want to see some of the automotive projects we've got going on at my home garage here? Because I'd be glad to share them with you. Once the Ranger's kind of done, we're gonna be tearing into the old second gen out there, the old two valver, and tinkering on it here in the flip-flop garage, whatever we want to call it. Um, but I've got been <laughs> decking it out with all my home tools. And it's crazy because I got all this full set of tools that aren't even included in like the tools I have at the shop, which we're still looking at shops. We may have a couple different options. I'm gonna look at one tomorrow, it's gonna be sweet. Will you please stop moving? Hey. Please be still. Beep, beep. All right, so Spencer and Ryan went out driving, hit the railroad tracks, and uh, <laughs> is it bolted ripped. on there? Yeah, it's just chilly. Oh, well, I can get you an impact. Looks yeah. like a 9 16th. I need some brake rotors on this boy. Hello there, ma'am. She's like, if you... Uh, can you get that 9 16th for me? Can you talk to... Can, have anybody talked to you today about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? All right, let me grab you some tools. Right here's the bracket that was underneath the car, and this is what was bolted to the frame underneath and welded to the pontoons. So here's all the parts in the entirety of that we pulled out of the uh, Hellcat, that dry shaft. I don't know what the heck that's out of, but yeah, parts off the Ford Ranger. So that nuked Dude, the it, uh, it pulled railroad. The bolt through the cross member. <laughs> So there's like a, a golf ball size hole where it pulled the washer and the bolt. If anyone needs a Hellcat cross member and some crazy wheel spacers, 500 bucks for this whole pile, right? Yeah, Brembo's, bro. Brembo's, Bremboats. 500 really, bucks for this whole piece. Where else can you they, get? They got to take it all at once, though. 24 inch, five by Whatever wheel spacers. 115 wheel spacers. Email me at brucewilsonshop.com. Nope. Bruce at brucewilsonshop.com. Hey, mommy, how you doing? Can you not? So we've got some parts for the second gen already. I went to put, I put a whole gallon of freaking windshield washer fluid in it. And right when I'm getting done, I notice it's poured all over the ground. So now it's completely empty of the good stuff. So I bought a new windshield washer tank here. We're gonna get installed on the old second gen here. Cause I gotta have windshield washer fluid, all the bugs here in Florida. So uh, gonna get this one out and get the new one in, but I've got a, move the coolant hose out of the way to get down to this tank here which kind of sucks but we're gonna figure it out so i've made a mess big mess drain the coolant got it out got the old one out and the problem with the old one which i threw it away was this nipple is broken off right here so i've got a new new uh whole new tank off amazon 40 dollars special car made at home okay barely barely <laughs> this thing put in here we'll have some washer fluid hit, hit the big one Got it all back together. We're going to test it out. And I'm just standing here. You guys ever notice you're working on something? You think, man, I'll just check this. And you find something else. 
Got no dang brake fluid on it. Check that out. Go ahead and just fill her on up. Mix that old nasty with the good nasty. Boom. Now, something I noticed is these brakes are very spongy. They're not happy. I'm thinking either a brake booster is going bad or a vacuum pump is going bad. But I'm telling myself, I'm not going to fix every little thing that's wrong with this truck. I'm just going to drive it. All right, now they're full of brake fluid. This kid's over here. Get out of the dirt. Hey. Hey. How dirty he is. Whose kid is that? All right, check these windshield wipers. Shoot. Dude, we got windshield washer fluid pumping. All right, up next on our little weekend to-do list here in the shop, I've got a rough country, top of the line stuff, steering stabilizer here we're putting on the little Ranger. Got all new uh, sway bar links, tie rod ends, all that good stuff. So up here we'll put a uh, steering dampener on here. It should help a little bit with these 33 inch mug grips. There we have it. We got us a steering stabilizer installed on our Danger Ranger. This thing's gonna look sweet. So crazy, like the factory twin traction beam is like so similar to like off-road racing. Some people don't like it, but it works good if you take care of it, guys. Not that hard to take care of your stuff. So on top of everything else I got going on outside the truck, on the inside is where it's gonna be cool. So I've got those 3d9 lights and the thing that we had in the trailer taxi of the people that just destroyed everything we got it wired correctly look at all those heat shrinking pieces that are in there so you can uh oh wrong one switch from red to white on a switch i'm gonna get that put in the headliner i've got some cab lights we're putting on it i got a sweet visor coming it's not here yet i've got to get the windshield replaced because it's busted it seems like everything around here has got a busted windshield <laughs> i've got an 18 speed shifter going in this boy we got the gray knob I've just got to uh, drill and tap that. It's gonna go right there on the freaking shifter there. It's gonna be a sweet freaking unit. I've got to replace the uh, boot on the dry shaft because when we did the lift kit, it stretched the dry shaft a little bit and it busted it. So um, we're gonna get the dry shaft out of it at another point and get this thing just kind of tidied up. It turned out freaking nice. The old home garage. I've been getting a lot of work done in here, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little home garage video today. And now the toenails back, I might keep it around for a little while. At least we we'll get the patina stuff done on it. It's up for sale. Um, if you guys are interested in it, drop a comment or email me at brucewilsonshop at gmail.com. Ryan didn't go anywhere. I just been doing stuff with my little brother Aaron. We're getting ready and getting team, getting pumped up for going to the uh, <laughs> G-Bats. Guilty by Association Truck Show in Joplin, Missouri, where the four states crew will be there not this monday tomorrow but the following monday for the whole week at four state trucks so come by and find us guys we're taking our new rv out there with my wife the kids everything will all be there hope you all are going to come out there and see us make sure y'all smash the like button subscribe to the channel and comment down below we've got some six Ganya coming out this weekend with that new computer you guys if you watch my youtube shorts you'll see we got a new ecm filters all the works for that thing we'll be working on it i might bring it home and do it right here in the uh driveway that might be where i start tinkering on stuff because we gotta get out of the shop we're installing that new engine in or getting the old engine out of business expense because i sold it huge story with that that'll be coming tomorrow guys we'll see you later peace